Oh, hi. Oh, hi there. I like what you've done with the place. Who are you and where are we? I'm Jasmine. I'm a recent film, TV and animation graduate and we're at Deakin University at the TV and virtual production studio. Uh, and where are these pictures behind you? These pictures are stills from a virtual production short film set that was created and directed by my lecturer. That's awesome. So did you get to work on this too? Yeah, I got to be a 3D environmental artist for one of the scenes. That's amazing. So what inspired you to study film? In high school, I got to do a certificate three in media and we actually got to speak to some of the crew behind How to Train Your Dragon and it was a really cool experience. That's so cute. So what's your favorite film and why? How to Train Your Dragon because of getting to learn all about film from them. Makes sense. So what was the most interesting or fascinating thing you learned in your course? Uh, virtual production and how it's changing film. And what are you watching right now? Bob's Burgers. Nice choice. If you could tell your year 12 self one thing, what would it be? Uh, stress less and ATAR doesn't define you. Nice. What were you like at high school? Just straight vibing. <laughs> and what's one thing you do to be sustainable? Uh, I have a veggie garden and I compost. Nice. Mind if I ask some friends some questions? Yeah, go for it. Nice, thank you. Hey, Rocco. Hey, what production are you currently working on? I'm currently working on the Tommy Knocker Man, which is about a miner that gets trapped in a mine. Amazing, thank you. Hey, Pete. Hey. Hey, what do you find so exciting about this virtual production studio here at Deakin? Um, you can film anywhere in the world and there's just uh, a lot of control. Amazing, thank you. Thanks. Hey, Pan. Hey. Hey, what do you find so exciting about virtual production in general? Um, this whole thing is very new to me. This yeah. is the first time me using it and then um, you can never make this film without it. Yeah, amazing, thank you. And what is one thing you've learned about yourself while being a student at Deakin? Oh, I realized I'm really big into board games. Ooh, amazing. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. Hey, Pete, what's hey. one thing you've learned about yourself while being a student at Deakin? Um, I can really thrive when I'm supported. Amazing. That's great. Thank you. Hey, Rocco. Hey, what's one thing you've learned about yourself while being a student at Deakin? Uh, just socializing more, making more connections and networking. Amazing. Thank you, crew. Get back to it. Oh, thank you so much. That was great. So what's your favorite place on campus? The virtual production studio. Nice choice. I mean, it is amazing. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite study snack? Uh, pods, but specifically Twix flavor. Good choice. What advice do you have for students who want to start a degree at Deakin in the film and creative industry? Uh, be open-minded, take lots of different classes because the career path expectation that you have coming in might not be the same one that you come out with. Great advice. And if you could collaborate with any filmmaker, TV producer, or animation studio, who would it be and why? As a 15 year old, it's always been DreamWorks because of the How to Train Your Dragon conference. So cute. What are the op uh, best opportunities you've had so far at Deakin? Uh, I got to do an internship at Dream Screen Australia. That was really cool. Got to work on some really cool film sets. And I also got to produce a student TV show called Melbourne After Dark on Channel 31. That's amazing. And how has this course helped prepare you for your future career? It's given me a lot of industry connections and helped me build skills that I wouldn't have without going to university. And after you complete your honours degree, where do you see yourself working or what job do you hope to have? I'm hoping to work as a 3D environmental artist on a virtual production set. Amazing. Thanks, Jasmine. We'll see you around. Thank you.